Okay, well this is the Westland 707 transceiver uh, made by Cybernet in the early 1980s. This radio is around about 28, 30 years old. Quite nicely laid out there, not a bad looking radio. Uh, it uses the Cybernet PTBM125A4X chassis, which of course is also used in other Cybernet radios like the TriStar 777, Lafayette 1800s and Superstar 2000s to name but a few. A little bit of skip there coming in. You just hear that. Ignore the phone ringing in the background, it always happens. There we are. Now, this particular radio is quite well featured. We've got volume squelch, mic gain, RF gain. We have a SWAR calibration there as it has an internal built in SWAR meter. Middle there, we've got the channel selector control with the green LED display above, channel 52 indicated, 27.555. Next to it, our band switch there, band A, B, C, D, 4 times 40 channels, total 160, with a frequency range from 26.515 to 28.305 megs. Mode switch, LSB, USB, FM, AM. There on the end, we just have the RX only clarifier control, no KC shift on this radio. However, we'll be coming back to that in a minute. Up here we have our three position selector switch for the internal SWA meter. Here an ANL NB automatic noise limiter noise blanker switch. Not very effective on these Cybernet chassis, so quite often these can be used for something else, which you will be finding out in a minute. We have Roger Beep on off switch there for anyone interested in the UK. The Roger Bleep sounds like the bleep in the NATO 2000, so it'll give you some idea. Next to it, CBPA switch, and next to that, a high low tone function. Back over here, of course, we have our combined SWA signal RF meter. We've got a bank of four LEDs there RX, of course, for receive, and key TX for transmit. Two high, high and low LED here for the bands. Obviously 52 when we go down, that is the mid AM band. When we go minus, low, the low indicator light comes on. Back to mid, back to 41 to 80, and then to the higher band, band D, and the high indicator light comes on. So all fairly straight forward. Now what I've done with this particular radio is uh, to give it a bit more flexibility I have uh, taken and removed the original 10K, C, uh, the 10K clarifier control pot, which is fitted at the factory, which gives us our RX only clarifier. The actual control pot is here. There it is. That's the one I've removed. And I have replaced it with a 50K control pot. Uh, interestingly, in this radio, the TriStar 777, which uses the PTBM125 board, Lafayette 1800 Superstar 2000s, come equipped from the factory with a coarse 5kc shift. Now when I looked at the circuit diagram for this radio and compared it, the actual circuitry for the kc shift tuned circuit is already in the radio, which is quite handy. So all I've had to do is remove the clarifier control, put a small 10kc preset internally as a fixed clarifier circuit to zero the TX and RX frequency, so they are the same, and then simply tap the new 50k control into the existing tune circuit, which was fixed. Of course, now we have a 50k control, we have full KC shift on here for TXRX slide. Now this actually, from centre slot, gives me 7.2 KC's down slide, and a total of 6.2 KC's up slide, so we actually have more than 5 KC's of shift either side of centre frequency. Now what I've done to give this radio a bit more flexibility, on the NB switch I've disconnected it and wired it permanently for noise blanking and I've used this switch as a 10kc alpha channel jump switch. Very easy mod on Cybernets, you simply tap into pin 15 on the PLL 2 a synthesizer, you simply disconnect the output from the channel selector to pin 15 put it via a switch and connect the other side of the switch back to pin 15 on the chip. When the circuit is uh, in place between the output of the channel selector and pin 15, channels are normal, which is with this down. As soon as I put the switch up in the up position, the circuit is broken and all channels are plus 10kc. So, for instance, channel 51 is 27535, 
52 is triple five. To get 545, you simply go to 51 and put the 10kc switch on, and that is 27545. Now with this mod, and of course the, the KC shift mod on the clarifier, that gives us a total coverage from 26510 to 28320 megs. Uh, because obviously we can go to 305, we can put the 10 KC on for 315 and then simply move up the shift. So this radio now has an unbroken coverage between those two frequencies. So bit of an improvement on the base Westland 707 model. Okay mate, no problem. I'm just using a uh, different radio here today. Um, just uh, give us a quick uh, report on the signal and the audio, over. Uh, the audio is Q5. I've got you as signal 9 on the peak. Signal 9 on the peak. Okay, mate, yeah. Can you just do us a favour and switch over to uh, FM mode? Yeah, of course I am. Right, you got me? Yeah, got you, no problem. Okay, mate, I've got you about signal 9, radio 5. How do we sound to you? Yeah, 9 by 5, back this way, no problem. Yeah, can you just try AM a second? <laughs> right, okay, you got me? Yeah, no problem at all. Lovely and clear on the audio. Right, okay, just try uh, lower sideband. Can you just flick over to LSB? <laughs> right, okay, one, two, three, four, over. Yeah, of course, you're a four by four on the peak on this side there. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm just adjusting the uh, clarifier there, the tune control, just to get you in. Oh, of course, yeah, I'm uh, on at 12 o'clock on mine at the moment, so, yeah. Okay, mate, yeah, just do me a quick favour, um, I'm just testing the uh, KC shift modification I've done on this radio. Can you just set your frequency to 410, 27410, and then give us a call? Right, just give us a bit more. Okay, yeah, got you there, mate. How's that to you, over? Yeah, lovely and clear. Uh, take our Okay, yeah, because I modified the clarifier in this radio and just want to make sure it uh, it does actually go down the full five and then it goes uh, a little bit more some as well, so that's very good. Okay, mate, yeah, cheers for that check.